Gastritis is a general term for a group of conditions with one thing in common, inflammation of the lining of the stomach. Gastritis may occur suddenly, and we call it acute gastritis, or appear slowly over time, and we call it chronic gastritis. In some cases, gastritis can lead to ulcers and also an increased risk of stomach cancer. Yes, it can lead to stomach cancer. The signs and symptoms of gastritis include burning pain or it is indigestion in the upper part of the abdomen that may become either worse or better with eating nausea, vomiting, or a feeling of fullness in your upper abdomen after eating. The risk factors that increase your risk of gastritis include bacterial infection with Helicobacter pylori, which is among the most common worldwide human infections. More than 70% of population infected with this bacteria. Second risk factor is the regular use of painkillers. Common pain relievers such as aspirin, ibuprofen, voltaren, and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are among the most risk factor. Older age, older adults have an increased risk of gastritis because the stomach linings tend to be thin with age and because older adults are more likely to have H. pylori infection or autoimmune disorder than younger people. As we know, alcohol can irritate and erode your stomach lining. Stress is another risk factor as severe stress due to major surgery, injury, burns or severe infection can cause acute gastritis. Your own body can attack the cells of your stomach and this condition we call it autoimmune gastritis. Autoimmune gastritis can also be associated with vitamin B12 deficiency. Other diseases and conditions can lead to gastritis include HIV AIDS, Crohn's disease and parasitic infection. The complication of gastritis if it left untreated, gastritis may lead to stomach ulcer and stomach bleeding. Some forms of chronic gastritis may increase your risk of stomach cancer, especially if you have extensive thinning of the stomach lining and changes in the lining's cell type. The prevention is by preventing the infection with H. pylori, which could be transmitted from one person to another through contaminated food and water or sharing utensils between subjects. You can take steps to protect yourself from infections such as H. pylori by frequently washing your hand with soap and water and by eating foods that have been cooked completely. For the diagnosis, we will target the diagnosis of H. pylori, which will be done through blood test, stool test, or urea brief test. Also using a scope, we call it endoscopy, in order to examine the upper digestive system. And a small tissue sample biopsy for laboratory examination will be taken. A biopsy can also identify the presence of H. pylori in your stomach lining. The treatment of gastritis depends on the specific cause. So acute gastritis caused by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or alcohol may be relieved by stopping use of these substances. While the medication that have been used to treat gastritis and they are the classical medications include antibiotic medications to kill or eradicate the H. pylori in your digestive tract, your doctor may recommend a combination of antibiotics to take the full antibiotic prescription usually for 7 to 14 days. Also, they will add for you some other medications that block the acid production and promote healing, which are the proton pump inhibitors like the omprazole, pantaprazole, to reduce the acid by blocking the action of the part of the cells that produce acid. But the long-term use of the proton pump inhibitors, particularly at high dose, may increase your risk of hip, wrist, and the spine fracture, so be careful of the long use. Also, they can add for you some anti-acid that neutralize your stomach acid, but that will affect your digestion and cause more indigestion to you. You may find some relief from signs and symptoms if you eat smaller, more frequent meals to help ease the effect of stomach acid. Also, avoid irritating foods, especially those that are spicy, acidic, fried, or fatty food. 
avoid alcohol because alcohol can irritate the mucus lining of your stomach consider switching pain reliever or stop those painkillers that was some of the home remedies or life adjustment which might help in the gastritis issues also we do advise with something very natural using the probiotics these probiotics the lactobacillus rotary dsm 17648 from the gut plus it has the ability to catch fine the h pylori and to eradicate it from your system through the bowel motion using the hook and the flush mechanism this probiotics it has a patency from denmark for its efficiency and for its benefits and also is very safe can be used by pregnant women children adults and others one capsule once a day is enough to eradicate your h pylori naturally without side effects without antibiotics one capsule as i said once a day it will show a beautiful result by eradicating the h pylori and reducing all these effects of the gastritis and also it can be used as a prevention for the h pylori and to stop it from increasing in your system and this one will reduce the load of the h pylori causing a lot of beautiful benefits to your digestive system by eradicating getting rid of the bad bacteria increasing the balance of the good bacteria in your system Please stay safe and healthy and choose the natural medications that are proven with the evidence-based medicine and it has a patency from Denmark. Thank you so much. Please take care and safe always.